In this presentation we're going to look at principal component analysis and specifically what we're going to look at is the KMO measure of sampling adequacy and we're also going to look at the Bartlett test for sphericity. The version of SPSS we're using is version 19 and the data set we're going to use is called europeanjobs.save. Now let's open our data here. So here we have it here. Country, agriculture. So we're, what we're going to do here is look at all of the independent variables we have here, the variables. So we've actually got nine variables, uh, numeric variables, plus a uh, variable to indicate the country that these variables relate to. What we're going to do here is uh, perform principal component analysis. Uh, specifically what we're going to use here is uh, analyze, and then we're going to go to dimension reduction, and we are going to go to factor. Okay, so principal component analysis and factor analysis are very similar to each other. They have a slight, uh, uh, there's a, a very subtle distinction between the two. Uh, we're not going to cover that right now, but uh, suffice to say that uh, we will go to here this factor analysis, factor redu uh, dimension reduction. So I'm going to click on that now. So I'm going to use all of these variables here, and I'm going to select all of those variables. And what I'm going to do is have a quick look at some of these options here. So right down here at the bottom is the particular option that we are interested in. It is the KMO and Bartlett test for sphericity. I'm going to click on that. Now there's quite a lot of other stuff here. Uh, just uh, as a remark, there's principal component analysis is what we're doing, but there's other types of method here. For example, principal axis factoring. But we're going to uh, stick with principal uh, components, so we just have to make sure that's selected. Um, continue that, and so on. I'm going to leave some of the other um, options for other videos. So I'm going to continue now. OK. So I'm going to center that. So right up at the top, what we have here is the KMO and Bartlett test. So in this first instance, the KMO, the uh, kaiser meyer ulkin measure of sampling simplicity, is uh, equal to 0.139. There we have it there. That is the KMO measure. Now that indicates that this uh, data set is not actually uh, well suited for um, factor analysis or principal component analysis. It's actually very uh, factor uh, principal component analysis would not be very useful at all. But uh, a value greater than 6 would indicate a, uh, that f factor analysis or principal component analysis is useful. But anyway, there is the number there. Uh, it, this is indicate. This is a uh, indicates that the uh, um, the procedure is going to be uh, po poor in terms of informative power. We also have the Bartlett test for sericity. There is the test statistic there, three hundred eight point nine seven eight. Also, what we have there is the uh, significance value. This indicates that there is uh, the a null hypothesis here is that the correlation matrix is uh, an identity matrix. That means that there is no scope for reduction, dimensionality reduction. It, but in this case, we reject the null hypothesis because we have a very small significance value, and that is to say, we reject the null hypothesis that the correlation matrix is an identity matrix. That means to say that there is there is some scope for reducing the um, the number of dimensions in this um, data set. So we can do it. Is it is what this says, and is it useful? Is what this says essentially. There's a bit of crude way of putting it, but that'll suffice. Anyway, that is our uh, end of presentation.